Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My channel is about handbag, SLG and jewelry reviews that I have purchased regardless of brand or price as I personally love items that are well made, good quality and value for money. Today, let's talk about fine jewelry. I have here luxury fine jewelry and non-luxury fine jewelry. When I talk about fine jewelry, I mean they at least have 18k yellow gold. I do have here BCA, this is from BCA. I also have this Cartier. This is from Cartier, which I did share in an unboxing. And also, I have review for one year review or more. So I'll link the video up and below as well. If you have missed that, you can go ahead and check that out after this video. So this is my Cartier uh, diamond necklace. And this is my BCA. And these are my fine jewelry as well but it is uh, not branded from local jewelry so first let me share with you the content of this jewelry like for Cartier as well as uh, VCA when they listed yellow gold in their website it means 18k yellow gold same goes to this this is the vintage Alhambra that I have from this uh, VCA now comparing to the local jewelry this is the local jewelry uh, that I have this is the bangle very just a very plain bangle and this is uh, they call it 916 gold or 91.6 pure gold and this has a 22k yellow gold instead of 18k that means uh, Cartier and BCA have only 18k where else this is a 22k which is a pure a purer gold than um, the branded one and let me just share with you the, some facts about this gold. This is a comparison video. I, I do not have the Cartier Love bracelet. The, the price for the Cartier Love bracelet, small, I'm talking about the small model, it is 4,666 something like that US dollar. And that is 3.65 mm in brief. The weight for the uh, Cartier uh, Love bracelet is 19 gram, approximately 19 gram. As compared to this, okay, I got this from a local jewelry. This is just a very plain bangle. If the camera can catch it, yeah. this is just a very plain bangle. And this weight, uh, 11.92 gram. And I paid at that time for the price for this is US dollar. It's about 885 US dollar. This is 22K gold. This is from the local jewelry. Now comparing with the Cartier bracelet, which I don't have, as I mentioned, the love bracelet. Surely this has... This is, although it's lighter, this is 11.92 gram. And I actually do the maths that I show here, meaning uh, the local uh, gold per gram is, in the US dollar per gram, is $74 per gram for local. This is $74 to $75 per gram. As compared to the gold for this uh, Cartier, which is the Love Bracelet. I'm talking about a small version. This version is also quite thin. This is just a very small, excuse me for the light, the uh, ring light. Okay, this is just a very small, small, uh, basic bangle. As com now, I'm comparing now. I'm comparing it with the Cartier Love bracelet that is in small size as well. Uh, it's the very the nearest comparison that I I know the design is slightly different. Here is this is just a smooth design. There's nothing where else the Love bracelet they do have some design here. But when I compare the price of these uh weight and prices, so the local jewelry I mean the local price per gram here is uh, 74 dollar per gram this one so on this weight is 11.92 so as compared to the cartier as cartier one love bracelet so 19 gram and that costs uh, which costs uh, four four thousand six hundred sixty something uh, dollar so meaning per gram per gram for the cartier love bracelet small is 245 Per gram you can see it is very big difference compared to Cartier and the local jewelry and and furthermore this is 22k and local I mean for the Cartier uh, yellow gold or the yellow gold in fact not just Cartier actually the VCA or all, all these are just 18k yellow gold it is very big difference in terms of price there are pro and cons of this it depends on how you want to look at it or how you want to view it let me just share with you the pro for this luxury jewelry and let's just give some eye, eye candy for you to see the the pro for this luxury brand uh, fine jewelry is uh, i mean the name of it it is well known worldwide that is the pro for this luxury jewelry furthermore this design let's say let's say i'm talking about this uh, vca vintage alhambra necklace 
uh, this design is very unique. The local jewelry may not have. They do have, but they, they may not be exactly the same. Perhaps that also, uh, I mean, that is also a selling point for the luxury uh, fine jewelry because certain design they, they not have. This necklace is quite plain. They may have this. This is just a diamond necklace. Where else? Uh, this club of flowers or BC, from BCA, uh, this Alhambra, they do not have the, they cannot follow exactly. I believe they may have trademark, so therefore uh, they cannot be copied exactly. They cannot be maybe copied exactly. They can have something similar, but not exactly. That is the pro for having, let's say you want to buy a uh, fine jewelry from uh, luxury Cartier also do have this uh, rose gold where else the local jewelry they do have rose gold but it is not so many I would say yeah they do have certain pieces only they they are not really into uh, unless you go to those uh, really have just rose gold only but uh, even for this local jewelry they usually concentrate more and they have more stocks on gold Yellow gold, not really so much of rose gold. To them, I did ask uh, why didn't why wouldn't they carry rose gold? They say that the rose gold is not as um it's not as valuable. I would say resale value. Yeah, she mentioned that the resale value is not as good as the yellow gold. So therefore, rose gold is just a uh, you know you, you I mean let's say a person want to sell it back. Uh, the resale value is not as good as the yellow gold. That's what she told me. So therefore, they do not local jewelry here. They do not really carry a lot of uh, rose gold. They do have certain pieces only and it's also quite pricey but it's only, let's say, uh, you want to resell it back, then the value is not that great. I was told Cartier branded brand, I mean like Hermes, uh, all these things, uh, even VCA, they all have uh, white gold rose gold i mean yeah they quite pink gold or whatever but then it's still rose gold so where else the brand those branded uh the designer luxury luxury designer uh, uh brand have rose gold just like cartier or hermes they do have rose gold in their fine jewelry section that is the that is the maybe perhaps if you want to look for a rose gold then perhaps a luxury uh, fine jewelry have a lot of that the con for having uh, this uh, luxury brand actually for this type of uh, luxury brand it is like the resale value even if it is a yellow gold they does have a resale value but the yellow gold uh, as compared to the this type of yellow gold actually this gold will go up in price of course but this one it will go up in price as well but what I mean is like when you sell it back resale value is not that great it is like it depends on how much you have used it and you know you have tarnished or not or whatsoever it's still cheaper so much cheaper than one will bought it just comparing i checked the love bracelet in the second hand market recently the small size uh it is retail at four thousand three. else when purchase price for it is four thousand six so you can see right you can see the difference uh where else this one let's say uh it depends on the rate of the gold if the price go with the gold price go up it will goes up it will not uh even even the person have used it let's say uh have used it in five years down the line or even 10 years down the line uh it definitely uh, let's say price go up it will just follow the market price it will follow the gold market price it, regardless whether the person have used it or not, it, even if they scratch and all these things, the, the weight is still there. It just follow the gold market price. So the, as the gold market price keep going up, you all know that the gold market price keep going up. So this will definitely go up in price, let's say in five years time. Or in fact, I bought it not long ago. I was told that the price of gold went up again. So when the price of gold went up, this surely will... You know, it's the same weight, but then it will go up. Uh, but if, I mean, let's say I want to right now trade it back to the goldsmith uh, immediately, then I they may not want to give me the full price of this. But let's say I want to change for a, a jewelry in five years' time, another jewelry or another accessories in five years or even ten years' time, this will, wait, this, this will cost uh, a lot more. The reason being is because the gold price went up. Where else? This one, unless I wore it already and in 10 years time, it will still go up. But then I may not be able to rec recuperate uh, all my uh, purchase. I mean, the entire purchase, the amount I purchase depends. But if this goes up also, but then again, uh, it is like uh, 
people will say that oh this is worn and this tarnished and all these sort of things you see even as much as what they have go inside but apparently they go by uh this designer fine jewelry they will go by whether it is worn tarnished or the condition of it plays a very important part uh, in uh, this fine jewelry for for luxury brand obviously uh, you know it will um, scratches and all these kind of things you see where else the local uh, jewelry let's even the bangle it will scratch but the it doesn't the price resale value i say in five years time does not depends uh, on whether uh, one have worn it or not it all depends on the gold market value so this is the advantage of it and this is the advantage this advantage from from selling let's say i have this piece from selling to a uh, designer uh fine luxury to let's say uh, in, in five years time it will go up um but perhaps i may maybe even just get back i'm lucky i will just get back what i paid for that's all if let's say i i sell it to the uh, second hand uh luxury consignment outlet as because the reason also if i unless i want to sell on my own and i have a community that they, i mean there are people who want to buy but then again as much as i have to deal with all the uh, scammers whatsoever so yes i just sell it uh, just save all my problem and sell it to the second hand luxury com uh, designer company they may really push the price down a lot for uh to for this since they also will make uh make money out of it so they also will want to make money out of it i may not be able to get back recuperate back what i have paid for for this event where else this one even i bring it back to the shop let's say in five years time not immediately in five years time that i still can i i in fact the price of the gold may go up i, I can even get more for price of gold for per gram and all these things since the price of gold keep going up pro for this uh, designer is like the design is quite uh, unique uh, it may not be easily copied they have as i mentioned that they have uh, they have this uh, perhaps design trademark that the local jewelry may not be able to follow exactly depends on what this uh, item but perhaps like this one there is a bit difficult for them to copy and not just that they may have the design trick uh, jewelry for just plain very plain necklace like this uh, i mean easily can get it from the local jew moving forward i would say that if those uh, design that is very common very common design perhaps you may want to get it from the local jewelry instead from a, i mean from a luxury house so the reason because it's just like this it's just a very it is a very uh, plain design this design is just very plain i mean you cover this is this a very plain design so you can get from even a non luxury uh, house and which is much cheaper but i bought this a lot so the price per cost per wear is down really but what i mean is like that this is a very uh common design that even the local jewelry will have this design being a cartier price is surely more so much more expensive compared to a local jewelry who has even uh this type of design and more gold i said 22k gold as i mentioned the local jewelry gold are 22k else the luxury brand uh vca cartier so far i see their gold yellow gold is 18k gold i do have the local jewelry i do have the ring here from the local jewelry as well this is ring and this is just a plain very plain chain so compared to uh, it is also very sparkle yeah. Yeah, it's also very sparkle this is the local jewelry a bit yellowish uh, but where else cartier one is a bit uh, lighter you see is a bit lighter this is my opinion for the local jewelry and the branded fine jewelry my my advice to you is if it is a very plain plain design i would say something like that maybe perhaps you may want to get it from the local jewelry instead of from cartier where else uh, just plain design like that i would say yeah where else if unless you want something that is different uh, some this this kind of design where else something like that uh, i did check out from all the local jewelry here actually they can't really i can't really find exactly i would say yeah exactly the same it is something very similar but not exactly the same so it's all depend uh what uh, design you want i would say that uh, if it's a very common design you can look in from your local jewelry else from for just like juc uh just include uh 
uh, the local jewelry may not have exactly the same. They have something similar. Unless you, you don't mind something that is uh, not that exactly but similar, then you can look for ju local jewelry. Where else the JUC, I would say that the design is quite unique. So only like Cartier will have it. So that is my, that is my take from the local jewelry as well as uh, I also uh, uh, lay out the pro and the cons for the local jewelry compared to a designer jewelry prices all goes up because of the marketing mark up by the marketing and by the brand name and all these things and obviously the packaging and the local jewelry packaging may not be so appealing they did give me a box actually for this for this and actually not too bad the box is red color and it is quite nice actually. That is my take for local jewelry, local jewelry as compared to designer jewelry. Uh, my suggestion here is if the design is very, very common design, that something like that that you can find from a local jewelry, then by all means go to a local jewelry to get it. And it's so much cheaper and I would say uh, consists more carrot gold yeah, as compared to the uh, look, uh, branded one. Right? I hope this video this video will help you to decide. Let's say if you are thinking between uh, yet yeah, uh, Cartier, I mean Cartier, or even a local jewelry. So I hope this video will be helpful for you. And if you're looking for any fine jewelry and uh, worth investment, I would say yeah, because gold, I mean, will go up will worth your investment or resale value. Let's say you are looking for something you like to wear, but you also would like to have a good resale value. That is my take for that. And I hope this video will help you. Thank you very much for watching and i see you again. Bye-bye.